Howdy, <coughs> Tubal Cane again. Today I want to show you how to make a mold using split patterns. These patterns are split patterns and they also have a core print on them so I'm going to incorporate a core into the mold. This uh, little pattern is two pieces and there's alignment pins on there and it's a split pattern <coughs> or a two piece pattern. My fingers are on the core print. Here's another one similar. You can see the little pins on it. And then the finished castings are right here. And as you can see using a core we have a hole that has been cast right in there. Same thing with this one. These are small castings but the same would be true with larger castings. And these castings are used on these two engines. There you see it goes on the little vertical engine and the other one goes on this engine. And these engines I think were shown in one of my other videos. But a split pattern <coughs> is used to make a mold that has two halves and this is called the parting plane or the parting line. So half of it's on one side, half of it's on the other. So this tapers toward one side, the other piece tapers toward the other side. Okay, in a moment I'll be at the molding bench to start the sand mold. Okay, these are rather small patterns, so I'm using a small round flask. It's about 8 inches in diameter, and I've placed the two patterns in there. And of course they're lying... These are the two halves that do not have the pins, and they're lying flat, and I positioned them such that I uh, can remember where to put the sprue, and there's room to put the sprue in the gate, and the sprue is going to go down, it'll be on the other side, of course, about where my finger is, right there. Now I'll stop the video several times as, I, uh, as needed here to speed things up. Now I'm sprinkling parting compound in there, and then the next thing I'm going to do is to sift some sand, and then I'm going to ram it in there. So I will uh, go to the next step where the, the uh, ramming has already been done and the flask has been flipped over. Okay, the bottom half of the flask is filled. The two halves of the pattern are in there. And now I'm going to assemble the split patterns on their pins, which will align them perfectly. Make sure that there isn't any sand or anything in between them. We'll put a little parting sand on there. That keeps the two halves uh, from sticking, the same as you might put uh, some uh, fat on a frying pan or when you're baking cookies. The sprue is going to go approximately here and then a gate cut in here and here. And I'm just going to remember that. If you can't remember it, be sure and mark it. Now I'm going to put the other half, top half of the flask on aligning the colors. This is a homemade flask, but I like the size of it. I don't know if you can buy one this size. And we'll sift a little sand in there. Just enough to cover the pattern. up and we're going to ram it now and gently at first and then progressively harder you can flip your rammer over remember we're going to insert cores in here as well strike it off. Some of this is a repeat of what we did in the last video, that's why I'm kind of skipping over it. And if I remember correctly, the screw goes in that approximate position, twist it, pull it out, make yourself a little bit of a pouring basin there or a funnel. I haven't talked about risers, but on these small castings you don't need risers. Risers are a system that helps to control the shrinkage. 
Now we're ready to separate the two halves. So I'm going to lift this straight up. No telling where the patterns will stick, if they'll be equally in both pieces. Nope, they all ended up down here, so we don't have to worry about taking them off of the other side. But we will lift this off, and that we're going to cut our screw. It didn't come quite through, but it's right about here. Cutting the gates sufficiently deep so that they can draw some of the metal off of the sprue. There won't be much shrinkage in small castings like this where there's a uh, core because that prevents there from being any thick cross sections. We'll draw the patterns out of there. And I already got some little holes drilled for my screw. These lift right out. I've used these often enough. I know that there's no bad spots on the patterns. So those are out. And deepen this ever so slightly. I like to flip it over. Don't forget to set your sand cores in there. You're going to set into the core prints to hold them in place. We're now ready to reassemble, blow everything off, match your colors, close the mold, colors are matched. Now this is ready to pour and I will pour this in an upcoming video. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.